Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about this problem. Yes, actually, I've got a dirty little secret I've been sharing with you guys about the tarantula ever since I've built it. One of the problems I've had with this thing ever since day one, and even after the reflashing of it, um, the center of it, when I go into Cura and I place something in the center of the build plane, this is where it ends up way back over here. Now, I've been sort of cheating, and, and in Cura, I just pull everything to the front uh, uh, and then uh, print it from there, and then it actually becomes somewhat centered, but I'm losing a good par part of the bed. And so I've just finally come up with the time to to address this. Now, one of the things that, uh, well, before we get there, what I, what I want to take a look at is what I have here is my 20 millimeter test cube. So it's 20 by 20. And so this is a, a 220 by 220 uh, bed. So this should be sitting roughly in the middle of this bed, right about here. And since this is 20 millimeters, if I take 20 millimeters away from 220, I should be at 100 millimeters to the center of this block. But if you take a look at this ruler, and if I get it in frame here, this is a 150 millimeter ruler. And if I put this against here, it's about 100, just a little bit short of 150 millimeters from the front of this bed. So it's about 48 40 some millimeters too far, uh, you know, in the Y axis. And then the Z axis, I'm about uh, 110, well, about 113. And I should be about 100 there also since it's 20 by 20. So one of the things that I, I did is I went back into the firmware and uh, actually when I talked to, when I reflashed the firmware in a prior episode, one of the pieces that uh, you know I mentioned this problem just in passing in Zerodo Labs actually um, you know called me out on this a little bit and, and mentioned in the code you know he saw where the homings were set and, and suggested maybe I should change those. So now what I've done is I've loaded up the Arduino IDE and brought Marlin in and modified the configuration H, and I'll put the the stock configuration up there. Actually, I'm going to pan out here a little bit. Um, so I'll put the stock configuration up here in the corner and so you can see it now. I'm going to change that. If you notice, it's set to negative 5, negative 41. So I'm going to change that to 0, 0 and see if this doesn't make a difference on where this prints. So uh, I've uh, already made the changes. So you take a look up there. I'll put the, the, the changed up there. And I've re-uploaded them to the Arduino Mega over here. So that should be set. So what I'm going to do is um, let's cut to a time lapse of me printing and let's see where this prints with those changes. Okay, welcome back. So, um, put up in the corner, I made these changes. So, uh, obviously in the Y, negative 40 when I removed it, set it to zero as well as the negative five. And so we got a lot closer. So this is this is a whole lot better. So this pulled it forward. And instead of being back almost 150, it's only off by 110. So I put in a positive 10 here. And this is off by in the X by about 8 so I put in a positive 8 and just uploaded it so up in the corner you'll see the uh, new configuration in the configuration H file which I uploaded and I'm going to do a third print and my hope is that third print will be spot on so uh, let's go and uh, do a third print and see how that comes out okay so we're back um, I'm up in the corner I'm going to put the uh, the uh, what I used uh, the configuration screen uh, it came out perfect so uh, with doing those adjustments uh, I came out uh, in short pretty much on 100 and pretty much on 100 again so anyways another shout out to Zerota Labs uh, for pointing that out and actually just making it easier to kind of go through this and uh, dig out that piece because he kind of caught it when I was going through doing the um, uh, setting up the X, Y, and Z axis when I was doing the flash. So many thanks to, uh, to use the Roto Labs. Uh, and again, if you're having this problem, and it could be with um, you know another printer besides the one, I mean, sorry, one how I'm so used to saying one how, 
with the tarantula, uh, this could be a way to to fix it or adjust it. I, I'm not sure why in both the, the original firmware and then the updated firmware the bed is set off that far. I don't know, maybe it's in configurations. I know I put the switches, um, in, in, the, the limit switches in the spots recommended in the um, in, you know videos that are out there on the internet. So really not sure. If you guys happen to know, hit me up below. I'd be just kind of curious. But now with these settings, I can drop it right in the middle of Cura, and hey, look what happens. It prints in the middle. So um, hopefully you found this interesting, a little bit entertaining maybe. And um, if you've got any questions about this or maybe a similar problem you're having, hit me up in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Um, anyways, um, hey, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Don't forget to swag shop. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.